How to treat sciatica with exercise. Sciatica is a painful condition where compression or irritation of the sciatic nerve causes pain in your leg, hips and lower back. Exercises are an excellent way to keep your muscles strong and possibly reduce sciatica pain. Although you can perform exercises at home, it's very important to be under the supervision of a professional physiotherapist to avoid injury and ensure proper form. Exercises to treat sciatica are usually focused on strengthening your back muscles, giving support to your lower spine, and enhancing your flexibility and posture. Performing exercises. Try the plank exercise. Many health professionals will recommend core strengthening exercises like the plank to help alleviate pain. Stronger core muscles help to support and relieve your back. They also help keep your pelvis in a neutral alignment, decreasing compression of the nerves. Lie face down on a soft surface, such as an exercise mat. Prop yourself off the ground by using your forearms and toes to support the body. The elbows should be directly under the shoulder. Make a double chin and keep the shoulder blades back and down to maintain proper spinal alignment. Tighten the abdomen as if you are about to be punched in the gut. Tuck your hips under and squeeze your glutes, keeping your entire body in a straight, rigid line. Try to make yourself as long and as strong as you can from the crown of your head out through your heels. Maintain this position for 10 seconds or until you begin to wobble. Breathe normally throughout the plank. Do 3 sets with 30 second rests in between. Work your way up until you can do 30 second holds with good form. Lie face down on a soft surface, such as an exercise mat. Prop yourself off the ground by using your forearms and toes to support the body. The elbows should be directly under the shoulder. Make a double chin and keep the shoulder blades back and down to maintain proper spinal alignment. Tighten the abdomen as if you are about to be punched in the gut. Tuck your hips under and squeeze your glutes, keeping your entire body in a straight, rigid line. Try to make yourself as long and as strong as you can from the crown of your head out through your heels. Maintain this position for 10 seconds or until you begin to wobble. Breathe normally throughout the plank. Do 3 sets with 30 second rests in between. Work your way up until you can do 30 second holds with good form. Perform side planks to engage the oblique muscles. These muscles protect the spine against sudden twisting movements and provide additional support to your back. Start by laying on your left side on a soft surface like an exercise mat. Lift your body off the surface by supporting your weight with the left elbow and outer side of the left foot. Your left shoulder should be tracking straight over your left elbow. Maintain an erect posture as if you are standing tall. Look straight, brace your abdomen, keep the shoulders back and down, and squeeze your butt. You should maintain this position for 10 seconds by continuously engaging your left oblique muscles the muscles at the side of your belly. This can be a very challenging move. If you are struggling, try staggering the feet for more support, or performing with the left knee down. Do 3 sets of 10 second holds. Work your way up to 30 second holds with proper form. Switch sides and repeat. Start by laying on your left side on a soft surface like an exercise mat. Lift your body off the surface by supporting your weight with the left elbow and outer side of the left foot. Your left shoulder should be tracking straight over your left elbow. Maintain an erect posture as if you are standing tall. Look straight, brace your abdomen, keep the shoulders back and down, and squeeze your butt. You should maintain this position for 10 seconds by continuously engaging your left oblique muscles the muscles at the side of your belly. This can be a very challenging move. If you are struggling, try staggering the feet for more support, or performing with the left knee down. Do 3 sets of 10 second holds. Work your way up to 30 second holds with proper form. Switch sides and repeat. Do lying leg lifts. Leg lifts will help strengthen your lower abdominal muscles and remove the strain from your lower back and sciatic nerve. Start by lying down on the floor on your back either on an exercise mat or on the carpet. Press your lower back down to the floor and pull your belly button in toward the floor. Li, your pelvic alignment is essential to getting this exercise right and not causing further harm. It may be necessary for you to put your hands under your lower back for support, or put a slight bend in your knees. Keeping both legs straight if you can, slowly raise your left leg off the floor while keeping your knee straight. Hold for 5 seconds, and return back to the original pose. Then do the same with your other leg. Repeat the alternation 5 times or as many times as you are able. Start by lying down on the floor on your back either on an exercise mat or on the carpet. Press your lower back down to the floor and pull your belly button in toward the floor. Your pelvic alignment is essential to getting this exercise right and not causing further harm. It may be necessary for you to put your hands under your lower back for support, or put a slight bend in your knees, keeping both legs straight if you can, slowly raise your left leg off the floor while keeping your knee straight. Hold for 5 seconds, and return back to the original pose, then do the same with your other leg. Repeat the alternation 5 times or as many times as you are able.
Try bridge exercises. This exercise helps strengthen the back of your legs, buttocks, and lower back. Lay down on the floor on your back with both knees bent and the soles of your feet flat on the floor. Then, push up using your buttocks while your back is straight. Your body should form a straight line declining from your knees to your head. Hold for 5 seconds to 10, and relax. Repeat this exercise 5 times if able. Lay down on the floor on your back with both knees bent and the soles of your feet flat on the floor, then, push up using your buttocks while your back is straight. Your body should form a straight line declining from your knees to your head. Hold for 5 seconds to 10, and relax. Repeat this exercise 5 times if able. Try curl ups. This exercise is similar to a traditional crunch. It strengthens the abs and the upper rectus to help relieve pressure from the lower back. Begin by laying flat on your back on an exercise mat or carpet. Hold your arms across your chest. Slowly roll and lift your head up off the ground followed by your shoulders. You should feel your entire core become tight and engaged. Hold this position for 2 to 4 seconds or as long as you're able. Slowly lower your shoulders and head back down to the starting position. Continue with this exercise until you can complete two sets of 10 curls. Begin by laying flat on your back on an exercise mat or carpet. Hold your arms across your chest, slowly roll and lift your head up off the ground followed by your shoulders. You should feel your entire core become tight and engaged. Hold this position for 2 to 4 seconds or as long as you're able. Slowly lower your shoulders and head back down to the starting position. Continue with this exercise until you can complete two sets of 10 curls.